Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the um, April 2016 um, money and luck forecast for the Virgo. This is just a general reading, so if you want a more personalized reading, the link to my website is in the video description box. Um, also, I want you guys to go and subscribe to my Gypsy Tarot channel because <clears throat> a lot of the money and luck and a lot of other uh, readings are going to go on that channel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling. I do apologize for shutting down the comments. Um, you know, there's some people that don't believe in psychics and they don't believe in, you know, my spiritual beliefs. But, you know, you guys are believers. And I want to thank you for watching. If you want to contact me, go to my website and click on chat now. And I'm usually available by chat. Um, you can also private message me um, or you can send me an email or just go to my website. Um, but I do um, have a certain set chat hours. So um, I'm also going to be doing some live shows on this channel. So be on the lookout for that. And I'll be doing some free one card readings. Alright, so Virgo, we're just going to be looking at your current financial situation. Um, we're also going to look at um, will money be coming to you in the next two weeks or in your life very soon. I mean, you know, within the next couple of weeks. Um, money opportunities that you Virgos may need to consider more closely. And who or what project will bring in more money? So this could be a person also. Um, and then the outcome is the fifth card. So I'm just going to shuffle a few more times. that three of wands just keeps coming up everywhere guys all right and I shuffled really really good okay so Virgo so your first card is the three of wands so this is you um, your business it looks like either your business or um, you know whatever it is you're searching for something okay um, there may be some answers that you're searching for to a question. Maybe you're doing some research on, you know, beginning a project. The Three of Wands, at any rate, is a very, very positive card. Um, you might be having some doubts right now, um, but that's normal. So you just want to make sure that you're doing the right thing is what I'm seeing, Virgo. Um, I do sense some sort of collaboration with it being the Three of Wands. Um, at, at, at any rate, the Three of Wands is definitely showing a road towards long-term success, okay? And also partnerships. So for this card to come up, um, show, it's showing that you've got some offers for either a new project or a new idea um, so don't delay in accepting it okay so um, whatever the opportunity is it's gonna uh, you're gonna have the opportunity to interact with someone with a lot of resources okay that's gonna lead you to long-term success um, I do see this um, energy that you have is being um, you know, something that you, looks like, you know, probably the last week of, of March, um, you know, you, you know, started to expand. So it could also mean some sort of business expansion, which means that this is confirmation that you are on the right path towards success. Um, so it's an overall positive card, okay? 
Now, your next card is either going to be a major life event, a major life lesson, because you did get the strength card. And I think this is a really important card for you because um, let me give you the exact definition in the Pagan Tarot. Um, it's a really cool, it means trust and patience and peace and adaptability, manifestation of strength and not power. So you are learning and it, it looks like this month there's going to be a major, you know, change in your ability to use your inner strength. Okay, this is not about overcoming something physically. This is about overcoming something mentally. So using your your mental willpower, um, you know, you can see in the illustration, the woman, she's in the woods, you know, she's surrounded by all these animals. And her energy that she's putting off is so peaceful that these animals are just flocking to her and they're not hurting her. So this is about manifestation. Okay, this is about what you put out there is what you get back. And you are learning that lesson this month. And this is an important life lesson to learn. So this is showing... Um, your strength and your vitality um also it's showing that you have a lot of passion virgo um you might be recovering from some sort of injury you may have overcome that using mind over matter um the strength card is about mind over matter okay in particular so this is basically saying like okay let's say that you're sick and you overcome it by using your mind to heal your own body. So this is kind of what this card is about, um, especially with her being in the woods. I mean, she it's a bear. Now, in the normal, not in the normal, but in other um, tarot decks, you're going to see the strength card depicted as some sort of animal, um, maybe a lion. But this time it's a bear, and it's also some other things so there's a bunch of wild animals and because she didn't get scared because she was able to to calm these people down to control the situation with her mind and her energy is so positive and so peaceful and so trusting she's trusting these other animals and this is this is um almost like a game of trust you know she's like i'm gonna trust what's going on i'm gonna trust that i'm gonna be okay i'm gonna trust that i'm gonna overcome it and i'm gonna trust that i'm gonna trust myself you know <clears throat> so this is a really heavy card for you and i think that that lesson is beneficial to a lot of people because it can change your life you know, you can literally control how people perceive you, how they react to you just by changing your energy and not fearing what people are going to think of you also. Um, your third card is, um, what is it? It is um, money opportunities that you should consider more closely and it's some sort of spiritual based <clears throat> career that um, you can really make some good money at um, also just recognizing the need for diversity you know the need for not being judgmental okay um, the knowledge having the knowledge that we are all one Also, alchemy, um, being able to turn negative energy into positive energy. So I see some of you Virgos going into some sort of spiritual-based career, which can be very rewarding 
both financially and spiritually. Um, you need to gear more towards helping people. Okay, being at the service of other people. Um, the Six of Wands, you know, this is about humility. The Six of Wands is um, success that comes from uniting different energies. So open up. This is also successful meditation. So open up yourself to, to more and just become, you know, more culture. You know, um, I don't want to say culture. I'm seeing a lot of you Virgos is maybe possibly, um, you know, leading. Some, it, it, you know, I can see some sort of choir. Or maybe even some sort of musical. Um you know, career for some of you, you know, I can see you leading, I can see you creating music with this card, you know, um, singing, some sort of career that involves reaching other people and, you know, using a, um, a certain frequency to reach those people and music definitely does have a certain frequency but you want to watch the energy that you put out in that music as well as you know um, a lot of other things the frequency of the music itself okay you don't want to make guilt money the six of wands is about completion and so um, I think that you will definitely be successful in that and you'll definitely see some rewards um <clears throat> oh, i gotta drink some more um i can definitely see with a lot of hard work um whatever this career is that you're looking at um you'll definitely see some big time results by august okay it's not gonna be fast money it's gonna take Building and hard work. Probably an investment of time and money. Um, <clears throat> uh, so that's that's pretty cool. And then also just to let you guys know that um, this could also indicate. Um, What was I thinking about? Um, some sort of um, leader in the community also um, would, would probably be a good... It's, this is definitely a public figure because there's so many people in this. In this. But you see how the person in green is kind of detached from the situation? The person in green is staring directly at the person in white. So this is negative energy coming from this person. Everybody else has sort of this halo around them except for this person in green. This person is envious of you. This person is directing negative energy towards you. There's someone in <clears throat> the man in black though <clears throat> is absorbing and blocking most of this energy and uh, neutralizing it okay or either dispelling the negative from the energy itself so the energy is being broken down um, and then the person in white is directing it upward so she's able to use that energy that that person in green is directing towards her and then you've got another person in blue behind you so there's significance with these with these colors um, blue is about communication and some other stuff healing so you know there, <clears throat> there's a lot going on um, I see you Virgo as being this person so you're going to be inspiring some people okay whatever career you go into you're going to be 
definitely an inspirational figure. Um, card number four. Um, this is who or what project will bring in more money. Now you got the Empress. So this is about family. Um, here's three generations. I get the sense you're, uh, some of you Virgos are going to go into business with your significant other. Um, the Empress is positive energy that surrounds us and those we love. So this indicates some sort of family business. Whether or not it's with your wife, you know, your cousins, um, you know, grandmother, whoever. And it's a lot of positive energies. Okay. Um, so it, it, it not only does it mean what it means, but it also means you know, a success in that area, you know, so it, it, I guess, however it resonates with you, Virgo, is how it's going to resonate you, resonate, I mean, this is, this is some sort of mother figure, the empress, she's fertile, okay, um, she's constantly creating, this is this energy of the goddess, um, a lot of energy, a lot of positive energy, So this is this the empress stands for all thing all things motherly. So some of you Virgos might be thinking about open up a, opening up a daycare also. Um, maybe you want to be some sort of guidance counselor. She always indicates successful business ventures or other positive productive opportunities to come. She suggests moving forward to fulfill your full potential. So um, this is a really, it's a really positive card to receive. Um, especially, you know, it's a, it's a major life event. Um, there's something else I want to tell you about the Empress. This is a lot of passion. So Virgo, what you need to do is you need to go for whatever career you are passionate about, whether or not it's, you know, leading some sort of choir, singing in the choir, um, you know, painting some sort of art, some sort of spiritual based religion. I'm not religion, but spiritual based practice. Um, but it just really shows that, you know, you have a lot of passion for this field. So whatever it is, Virgos. If, if it's something that, you know, um, is your niche, then you should definitely stick with it. Um, I get the sense that some of you Virgos are going to get with a status woman. Okay, the Empress is about having a status woman, so she's a literal person. Um, she is going to uh, have, you know, that positive energy to, uh, for, cre you know, for creation. Okay. Um, also, the Empress card. Um, it, it's indicative of feminine power. She can also signify coming abundance. So you got some money coming, Virgos. Some of you, depending on depending on your energy, this is a very potent um, passion for something, and you know manifestation. There's gonna be a lot of people attracted to you. Okay, so whatever it is, it's gonna be um, a field that you know it's gonna fit you in a way to where you're going to have a great success and you're going to make money. 
Um, you just need to listen to your intuition and you need to give priority to your emotions and your passions because your emotions is the energy. Your emotions are energy. Okay, so um, you need to pay attention to that and make sure that you are uh, paying attention to, to um, you know, the, it's almost like a magical card to where it's like, you know, th there's so much stuff that she, you know, that they have going for them. I mean, you know, they're in the garden. There's a child there. There's a really nice house. They're living really good. You know, the grandmother is alive, still doing really good. So this is a really positive, happy card. Now, Virgo, your final card is the chariot. And this is a really positive card for you. There's definitely a life lesson with this card. A major life lesson that you're going to discover this month. This is about focusing energies, concentrating them on obtaining something. So you're going to really focus a lot. You're going to make sure that you stop paying attention you know to anything else you're going to be specifically focused on everything i've mentioned in this reading <laughs> pretty much um the chariot is showing as a final outcome your progression your strength of character your success from effort and learning that fast money ain't always good money and all money ain't good money okay um, and even though it might be difficult, you might have some setbacks. You're still going to have a good outcome. So you just need to, excuse me, you just need to hang in there. Um, so basically, you just want to continue your struggle and the end you will seek will be achieved. Honor, acclaim, and recognition are all possible outcomes if you do not quit. So again, this is a June, July card. Um, there's going to be some recognition in the community for you, Virgos. Um, you're going to be honored when this card comes up. A lot of readers have a hard time reading this particular card. Um, what's significant about this card is that um, it's really abstract in everything that's going on in it, but you can see somebody really concentrating on something, and that's the woman on the back of the, the car, and I think, let me look closer, she has a bag on top of her car, so she's going somewhere. Okay, so there's already, you know, she's already... Um, you know, trying to achieve something. Um, you already know what you want. Okay, but you have to have the ability to overcome through organization and endurance and confidence. Okay, you have to be confident in yourself and don't tell yourself you're going to lose. You know, that kind of energy is not what you want. The chariot is about energy. It's lots of energy points pointing towards determination, but it's not free for all energy. You have to direct it towards your goal. Okay. Um, so yeah, this card points to determination and ambition, getting things done and testing and proving what you've got. So it means there's going to be a lot of tests. This is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot because, number one, Rome wasn't built in a day. <clears throat> and then also, um, you know, something worth, something that's worth it is going to be hard to get it. Okay. So, um, Virgo, that's going to conclude your reading <clears throat> for April. 
um, definitely got some good luck for you. Um, the chariot in terms of love also means your finances are going to be going <clears throat> very well. Um, and you might be looking into purchasing something to do with transportation. So you might be buying a car. Um, and it's, it, it's, a, it's an indication that there's somewhere that you're trying to go and you're going to get there. Okay. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up this video, please. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the Gypsy Tarot channel. All right. I'll see you Virgos later. Bye.